Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you. You know I gotta sing it. Of course I'm leaving a voice message. I know you love collecting. So this goes in the in the pipeline in the collection of Joe. Hope you've been well returning your call. I'm just heading out about to do a quick rental drop off. Um, I should be available for most of this afternoon. Um, heading back after this, and I'm going to pick up a cure. But happy birthday, Joe. I mean, come out. Another year? Yo, know, they ain't ready. They never ready. Because you stay ready. I love you. Take care. Bye. Love you too, Addy. Uh, I don't even know what to wish for. Just keep it to myself because if I say it out loud, it won't come true. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Joan here. People know me as JV as well. That is what the homies call me. And today is a very special day. It's my birthday, literally. And Today I turn 31. Sometimes I still can't believe that I'm in my 30s because nine out of 10 times people always think that I'm younger than 30. And then they're surprised that I am this age. And I am not one to lie. I always tell people, honestly, this is how old I am. But people, they can't believe it until they see my ID. Anyways, there's a few things that I want to talk about and share with you, but before that, I want to do a quick recap of my 30th year. It actually has been very spontaneous and surprising and a matter of good and bad, uh, just as many other people. But for me, the things that I accomplished in this year alone, I just can't believe. For example, in the beginning of 2022, I flew all the way to the Middle East, all the way to Dubai, because I have family there, and I never thought I would ever travel there. It's not on my bucket list. And it was a whole new world, literally, like in Aladdin. And I <laughs> experienced so many different things that I never experienced before, met people that never thought I would ever meet and I appreciate the time that I spent over there and funny enough this person you know who you are I'll just call you H this person has always told me to never run away that you can always contact me whenever you need to talk to someone well Today I am running away. I'm running away on my birthday to go to Berlin, Germany. And many of my friends and family are like, oh, why are you going there? And so you're going to spend your birthday alone. And it is partially true. I planned to spend my birthday alone. And that is not for you to feel sorry for me or anything like that. I just feel that I just want some peace <laughs> and I just want to be able to travel as I usually do and just have some time alone before I celebrate with the rest of the world and so a little bit more details about that whole trip but yes that is something that someone has told me in the past to not run away and then after I came back to the US, I was given the opportunity to work on a feature film. And I never did that before. I worked as an assistant camera and AC. And I literally had to learn on the fly how to do this job. And I'm so thankful for my good friend. And also, I shared this birthday with my friend Paola for trusting and believing in me 
and I didn't have to tell production that I never did this job before, but I told them at the end when we wrapped on set that it was my first time and everyone couldn't believe it because they said that if I didn't say anything, they wouldn't have known. And they were all congratulating me and it was rough. It was a, a huge learning experience, but I'm very thankful for everything and everyone who had the patience to teach me and to just work with me and things like that. And then I also started therapy again and I quit therapy for a year. I just wanted to take some time off because I was going for three years straight. And when you start again with a new therapist, it could be very nerve wracking. And so I was very concerned and worried uh, if we would be a match. And luckily, we actually worked out till this day. I'm still seeing this person and I'm using the BetterHelp app. And I want to break the stigma of having the conversation about therapy, which I think it's nice that whenever I talk about it with people, they happen to become more interested and inspired to wanting to try it out. I think it's important to have a safe space and to have that person that you can call support. And many people can say that they have a family member, friend, or a significant other as someone they can go to. But if you don't have someone, then talking to a therapist is a good alternative. It has helped me and Many people have said that they've seen me improve personality-wise uh, and, and just my well-being. And so I can always recommend going to therapy. All I can say is that sometimes the first time around is not the best experience, but when you do find a person that you get along with and you feel that you can confide to, I highly suggest it. So I did therapy, still doing it. And I worked on a few more short films, all narratives. I don't know why, but I always happen to land those type of jobs, not commercial work. It's always scripts. So I think maybe that's a calling for me because I've always wanted to direct my own feature film. And I just need to get to it with making a script. And before, I turned 31, I never thought I would travel again <laughs> in a span of a year. Middle, going to the Middle East was already a lot and I was able to travel to Boston again, which I haven't gone there for in, like since 10 years ago and it's a very sentimental place for me because of my dear ex Ray who passed away. And then I was able to go to the Philippines after how many years? Five years I didn't go. And got to be reunited with my family over there. And then for the first time in my life, I got to go to Japan. And I thought I would go to Japan during the Olympics, but we all know that the pandemic happened. And then I never thought when I would go ever again. And now I went. And I got to meet Phil. I got to experience a whole nother world again. And it was nice, despite having food poisoning. So something that I want to share with you, there's two things. One is people have asked if I'm still selling my photo book. And to be honest, I wasn't. It was sold out completely and I'm very thankful again because for many years people ask me when are you gonna put out a photo book and I've always said like I don't know I don't know when I'll ever do it and then when cavemen built my skateboard came out I happened to take stills photos and then was able to put together a photo book so uh, this is the book if you don't know it and people have requested I guess people who found me now recently on YouTube or things like that are interested in wanting to get a copy 
but then unfortunately it sold out so on my birthday as a birthday wish granted I am letting people pre-order a copy um, there's only going to be 50 copies available and then for real never going to sell these again because I wanted them to have a limited run and I just miss this project a lot it, it, it means so much it's literally something that holds a lot of memories especially that this was my thesis project in college and then it just expanded and grew to something even better so I will leave the link below in the description if you want a copy and when there's no more copies anymore then you won't be able to see or have access to that link you won't be able to order it so if you're interested in this book check out the description uh, and you can get a copy so there you go your wishes have been granted okay and so here we go this is the big, big, big thing that I wanted to share for a while now. And I think people have been slowly seeing my Easter eggs on Instagram. And so if you know what I'm about to say, then it's not a surprise anymore, but it is a surprise. So there we go. When I went to Tokyo, Japan, uh, on that trip, I was able to get my dream white whale camera and I mentioned it on Analog Talk right here. You could hear it right now. Man, so then what, uh, what is your, your white whale? What are you lusting after? Is there anything that you've had your eye on for a while so, that you, you, haven't, you haven't gotten yet? So that's, that's literally the, the first two cameras that I mentioned, <laughs> which, are, <laughs> which is the M6 and the Mamiya 6. Like Those are the two mm -hmm. cameras that... Um, I've always looked at every time I go into the camera store uh -huh. or um, sometimes the Hasselblad 2, the 500CM. Um, I've shot with that oh, yeah. a few times. Um, but always, I don't know, it's it's always a rotation of those three cameras. The, the rest are, it's like, I would use it maybe once and then that's it. But those are the three cameras that I would always think about and i and i know myself it's like if i set the goal i will eventually get it and i'm like oh, oh yeah. yeah yeah yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah that's how it happens man you set your mind to it yeah. and next thing you know you're a proud owner <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're like my most accomplished moment when yeah. i bought that m6 so if you've guessed it right the big reveal is i got a leica m6 this is my own camera I've been waiting for a while now to be able to talk about this and share this news with you guys because like I said I was posting some Easter eggs on Instagram and people were slowly finding out that I got this and they weren't maybe sure that it was really mine or if they were really seeing what they were seeing but it's true I got my dream camera and I always thought that I would finally obtain a Leica when I'm a senior citizen because usually when I see people on the streets when I was younger, it would be literally senior citizens with Leicas around their necks. And I was just like, maybe I'm never going to be able to afford one. And then look at me now. After writing in my diaries over and over again, manifesting that by age of 30, I'll own a Leica M6. I have one. And I want to give a big shout out to my friends Raphael, Chris Visser, and also Phil. Because if it wasn't for them, I would have not been able to obtain this. And when I got this camera, it literally looked like this, just the body. The lens is a Carl Zeiss 35mm f2 lens thanks to Raphael which is also his first lens on his Leica M6 but when I got this camera I just got the body and I got 
the original case, which is nice. And I also got the strap that is also like a brand. So that's pretty sweet. And I customized it now. Every time I put it down on the table, I just feel nervous. <laughs> so I really wanted to get a half case for it. And the strap that it came with is okay, but it's like not my favorite to be honest. So I got this strap to go with it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I'm still learning. I'm trying to take as many photos so I can practice using this camera. I have experience using my Canonet QL17. That was my introduction to a rangefinder. So at least I have that experience. But to have a Leica of my own, it's a whole new ball game. It's super sweet, it's super nice. Now I understand the whole hype about it and why people really talk so much about wanting to get one. Because now that I see the results of the photos that I've been taking, I just can't believe it. It's just, wow, <laughs> that's all I can say. So there you go. Can't believe I'm exposing it now to the world that I got one. And I'm gonna share with you all photos that I've taken so far with it here. So those are the photos that I've taken so far. Hopefully you enjoyed them. If you have any advice on how to use the Leica M6, I know there are a ton of videos online, but if you do have any advice, you can leave it in the comment section below. And what else can I share? While you're watching this video, I'm probably on my flight going to Berlin, Germany. <laughs> and why am I going there? Besides the fact that it's my birthday. I'm going there because I'm going to the Berlin International Film Festival. I am going to watch the feature film that I just mentioned that I worked on last year at the festival. And I just want to be able to experience it. Many people said that since I worked on that movie, I should go to the screening. And so that's what I'm doing and probably explore and you'll see another video in the future of my trip of course and hmm am i missing anything else pretty much some of the proceeds for the book if you purchase one will go to a cause it's probably going to most likely be revolving around suicide prevention because that is a cause that means a lot to me and so there's that and that's pretty much it i can't believe that all of this has happened in my life i'm very grateful that i reached the age of 31 yes to other people it's still young but to me i never even thought i would pass 30 oh, we're not going to get into that sensitive topic right now and yeah I just am thankful for you to be watching this video and so stay tuned till the next video. Do yourself a favor by doing a good deed today and try to make someone smile because that's what I always try to do each day and that's why I have a big heart and that's why I get hurt all the time. And yeah, okay. 
Sayonara. It's the end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, it will help me in the long run. Okay, bye.